10th, and you can find out about all of the winners online. But we get to meet another winner up next on the Express, this time from the Dragon's Den Green Inventors Special. Now, you've heard of a floor so clean you can eat off it? Well, how about a floor so green you can actually eat it? Eco-friendly plastic, it's a bit of an oxymoron, but that's essentially what this sticky grey goop called Castagra is. A plastic so natural, it's edible. And it doesn't really taste very good, but actually it really doesn't taste good at all. It tastes like chalk, but it's, it's edible, like I won't uh, uh, have any ill effects from this. Castagra was created by engineer Peter Rosen as a favor to a friend who wanted formable plastic molding. My initial reaction was no, plastics are evil, I don't want to have anything to do with them and we're trying to move in a more environmentally sustainable direction so I didn't want to do it. Then six months later after thinking about this I went back to him and said you know let's try that molding product but taking a different approach on it. So Peter began experimenting for months until he came across a natural ingredient called gypsum. Gypsum is a byproduct of the sulfur scrubbers in the power plants. And there's millions of tons of this being produced, which really has very little uh, use other than making wallboard, for instance. Something that's found in virtually every building, thrown away after the building is demolished or renovated. And Peter's product makes use of all this potential garbage. Our starting material, the gypsum, can actually come from drywall waste like we have here in this construction pile. The gypsum is the material inside the drywall, that white powdery material. And that's the main ingredient in our, in our product. A concept so ingenious, Castagra was recently featured on the Dragon's Den's Greenvention Contest. Well, you can take any of these products when you're done with them, shove them right back through the factory and have them come out as finished products. In the end, Peter, you're the winner. Walking away with $100,000 in investment capital and generating a lot of publicity. The product has so many applications and it's really exciting. We see applications within the construction industry as a huge opportunity. Above all, the fact it'll keep millions of tons of plastics out of our landfills definitely helps Peter sleep better at night. And knowing that every day I, I get up and I'm excited about changing the world to make it a better place, it's certainly, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice way to go through my day. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. Hey, the next time you're riding one of the new ferries with BC Ferries, you can check out the floors for yourself. They're used on the outdoor decks. You're watching The Express, and we've got more from the Fraser Valley Humane Society.